pressure and up thrust. This is for triple physics, higher tier students only. Students often struggle with this topic, so remain calm if you don't understand straight away. The air pressure of an object is due to the weight of air above it pushing down. If you are higher up in the atmosphere, there's less air above you pushing down, so pressure is less. If an object is under water, the total pressure acting on it is due to the weight of the air above it plus the weight of the water above it. Here's the formula we use to work out the pressure. You don't need to memorise this formula, just be able to apply it. Pressure due to a column of fluid liquid or gas, in pascals equals the height of the column of fluid in metres times by the density of the fluid in kilograms per metre cubed times by the gravitational field strength in newtons per kilogram. When an object is in a fluid, liquid or gas, it will have a smaller pressure on the upper surface because it's not as deep, so there's a smaller weight of water pushing down on it, and a bigger pressure on the lower surface because it's deeper, so there's a bigger weight of water pushing down on it. This difference in pressure on the upper and lower surfaces causes an upward force called upthrust. The upthrust is equal to the weight of fluid displaced by the object. If the upthrust is less than the weight of the object, it will sink. If the upthrust is bigger than the weight of the object, it will rise. When an object floats, the upthrust equals the weight of the object, and there's zero resultant force. Let's look in more detail how to tell whether an object will float or sink. Take note of the start and height of this fluid. Let's see what happens when we drop an object into the fluid. As the object sinks down into the fluid, the fluid rises. We call this displaced fluid. Remember, the upthrust is equal to the weight of displaced fluid. If an object is less dense than the fluid, it will float. If the object is light, it doesn't need to sink down very far into the fluid until it displaces enough fluid to equal its own weight. If an object is denser, it will be heavier, so it needs to sink deeper down into the fluid until the upthrust is big enough to equal the weight of the object. If an object has the same density as the fluid, to make the upthrust equal to the object's weight, it will need to displace a volume of liquid equal to its own volume. This results in the object's surface being at the same height as the fluid's surface. If an object has a higher density than the fluid, it is unable to displace enough fluid to make the upthrust equal to the object's weight, so it sinks. Summary. The pressure in a fluid is due to the fluid and the atmospheric pressure. The pressure in a fluid increases as the depth increases because there is more weight of fluid above it pushing down. Pressure due to a column of fluid equals the height of the fluid times by density of fluid times by gravity. You don't need to memorise this. Upthrust is equal to the weight of fluid displaced. Know how to tell whether an object will float or sink. 
I hope you found this helpful. Watch the video again if you didn't understand something properly. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this to help you pass your exams. Want to see more videos like this? Subscribe to my channel. GCSE Physics Explained. Thanks very much and bye for now.